All right, today we're going to be talking about organic compounds. And on block day, we're going to use this information and we're going to do a food test lab. We're going to test various foods for these compounds. So here we go. All right, follow along in your fill-in notes. Uh, many organic compounds are made of many small subunits bonded together. So we've got subunits here. Um, monomers are the individual subunits or the building blocks. And we have polymers that are made of many monomers. All right, well, in your filler notes where it says diagram, what I want you to diagram uh, is just draw this part. And probably it's a good idea to write that mono is just one and poly is many. Uh, somewhere over there, all right, and then remember we've got monomers um, are the individual subunits, polymers are made of many monomers. If you need more time to draw this diagram, uh, this is where you should pause the video. Okay, moving on. All right, carbohydrates are the first type. Uh, that we're going to talk about. And carbohydrates are made of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Those are the three elements. Write them down. All right, please don't draw this because it's kind of complicated looking. Uh, but this is what a carbohydrate looks like here. All right, and carbohydrates can be broken down to provide energy and a monomer of a carbohydrate would be a sugar. And a polymer of a carbohydrate is going to be a starch. So sugars are sweet, and starches are actually just a whole bunch of these sugar monomers put together, uh, and those are not as sweet anymore. So that makes up rice, bread, and pasta. If you need to get these words down, again, pause right here, uh, and when you're ready to move on, press play. Oh, whoops. There's a starch and a sugar. All right, lipids are molecules that include fats, oils, and cholesterol. This is a diagram that you should draw right now. And you've got uh, labeled glycerol here and fatty acid tails. So this front part is the glycerol, and then the rest of it label that fatty acid tails. All right. Lipids can be used to store energy. And the cell membrane, we're going to talk a lot about uh, cell membrane later on. Um, that is made mostly from lipids. So pause the video right now and think about some uh, foods that you might see that are mostly made from lipids. Pause it. Okay. Now that you've brainstormed some, here they are. All right, these are foods that have a lot of lipids in them. We're going to move on now. Proteins are polymers made of amino acid monomers. So remember, poly is more than one, right? and mono is just the one. Right? Okay. I don't know where my drawing's going, guys. All right, so here's one amino acid monomer, and when you put them together, a whole bunch of them, you get a protein, and that's the polymer. All right, and don't draw this one either, because it's complicated. Right, amino acids are used to build proteins in organisms. After you write that down, uh, flip your page over. Uh, we're going to think of some foods that are high in protein. So here we have some 
Foods that are high in protein are meats, fish, beans, eggs, and so on. All right, this would be a good place to pause if you need to write any of this information down. And uh, then we'll move on to the last thing. All right, so nucleic acids are the last one. And nucleic acids are DNA and RNA. All right, so the nucleic acid is the polymer in this case. And the monomer, oops, I went too far. Let's go back one. All right, so the polymer is the nucleic acid. All right, polymer, oops. I don't even know what's going on with this. Um, here we go. Well, you guys get the deal. My writing's pretty bad on this right now, but that's the polymer. And here's the monomer. The monomer is called a nucleotide. And we're talking about just one of these things over here that's circled. Right. So nucleic acids are polymers of monomers called nu nucleotides. We've got that already here. Um, almost all cells have nucleic acid. So any food made of cells are going to have some nucleic acid in them. So keep that in mind during the food test lab. DNA is what stores genetic information, and RNA builds proteins. All right, that is the end. So hopefully uh, you guys learned a little bit more about all this stuff, and we're going to be testing it on uh, block day. So t let's take a look at your notes again tonight. You can replay this. It'll be on School Loop. In fact, it already is. And uh, organic compounds, that was it.